Hello and uh, welcome to a brand new episode of uh, the Daily Debate. My name is Ahmed Nader and uh, tonight we are going to focus on uh, the Egyptian support to the Palestinian cause and uh, the people in Gaza more specifically over the past uh, 45 to 50 days on the political and on the humanitarian levels as well according to the directives of uh, the political leadership under the tenure of His Excellency President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. But we will be starting straight away with uh, the main top stories for today that took place on Sunday which come through the Palestinian cause and the news surrounding it and the Egyptian role regarding the Palestinian cause as President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on Sunday thanked the Qatari Emir Tamim bin Hamad for the efforts that he and his administration are exerting to ensure the humanitarian truce in Gaza is complete and the exchange of prisoners is successful. Tweeting on his social media account, the president said that the Qatari efforts integrated with the Egyptian efforts to meet the needs and achieve the aspirations of the Palestinian people. The president said that he looks forward to more joint cooperation to establish just and comprehensive peace in the Middle East. And uh, to be further highlighting uh, the role of uh, Egypt uh, regarding uh, the Palestinian cause and uh, the catastrophe in uh, Gaza that took place over the 45 to 50 days in the past, ever since the October the 7th, uh, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri also received a call from the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken on Sunday to discuss the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian truce in the Gaza Strip and means to overcome the obstacles facing it. Shukri stressed the necessity of building on the truce and reaching a comprehensive ceasefire. The top diplomat also asserted the need to ensure an efficient and sustainable flow of the food and humanitarian aid to all parts of the Gaza Strip and to implement the UN Security Council resolution issued on November the 15th calls for the humanitarian pauses and the humanitarian aid corridors in order to contain the unprecedented deteriorating situation in the Gaza Strip. We will be heading uh, to the first report of uh, the daily debate uh, for tonight, which focuses on the presidential activities of His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Hassisi over the past week in the upcoming report. Stay tuned. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi received a phone call from Mr. Najib Mekati, the Prime Minister of Lebanon, discussing developments of the situation in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi follows up on the developments in national projects in the agricultural and irrigation sectors across the Republic. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi follows up on the efforts of relief aid to reach Gaza, where the president was briefed on the efforts made by the Egyptian Red Crescent to deliver aid to the Palestinian brothers in the Gaza Strip. The Egyptian-Jordanian summit in Cairo follows the reception of King Abdullah II bin al Hussein, King of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi at Cairo International Airport. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi receives a phone call from the American President Joe Biden. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi receives at Ittahadeya Palace the Prime Ministers of Spain and Belgium in joint tripartite talks to discuss developments the situation in Gaza and a joint press conference is held. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi holds an inspection tour in the Giza Governorate. 
President Abdel Fattah Sisi receives Ms. Tanya Phelan, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Slovenia, and Mr. Khan Cravino, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Portugal, in the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Semah Shukri. Welcome back. You're still watching uh, the daily debate as uh, we did see some footage following uh, the first report of uh, the daily debate uh, for tonight regarding the exchange of uh, prisoners between Israel and uh, Hamas, which is uh, a result of uh, the Egyptian Qatari mediation efforts that took place uh, over the past weeks. And we did see uh, its result uh, regarding uh, the four day throughs that took place in uh, Gaza between uh, the Israeli forces and uh, the uh, Hamas uh, fighters, as uh, we will be seeing uh, in uh, the upcoming uh, report for the daily debate, the efforts of Egypt to be extending the four-day truce in Gaza, according to the mediation of Egypt and uh, Qatar regarding uh, the phone call that took place uh, or uh, the connection that took place between uh, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi and the Emir uh, of Qatar. We will be seeing in the upcoming hours and days the results of uh, the mediation efforts and the political and the humanitarian efforts of Egypt to be easing uh, the catastrophe and the situation for uh, the Gazans. All this and more in the upcoming report. Stay tuned. Egypt is communicating intensively with all parties to extend their four-day truce between Palestinian and Israeli sites for one or two additional days. Head of Egypt's State Information Service, Dia Rashwan, said that truce's extension would mean the release of more Israeli captives in Gaza and Palestinian detainees in Israeli prisons. The head of the SIS further explained that Egypt has so far received positive indicators from all parties on the possibility of an extension to the truce. According to Rashwan, Egypt received a list of 13 captives in Gaza and 39 Palestinian detainees in Israeli prisons who are released as part of the truce. In addition, Rashwan disclosed that 50 trucks carrying humanitarian aid bound for northern Gaza crossed into the strip through Rafah border crossing. On Wednesday, Israel and Hamas reached a truce agreement on a four-day humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza through Egyptian Qatari and U.S. mediation. The truce agreement involves a stop to all hostilities in Gaza and the entry of humanitarian aid to 2.4 million Palestinians in the besieged strip. The agreement stipulates the release of 50 Israeli captives, including women and children. In return, 150 Palestinian political prisoners, including women and children, would be released from Israeli detention. 
The agreement also allows room for an extension and release of more captives and prisoners. On Friday, as per the agreement, Hamas released 13 of its Israeli captives and Israel released 39 Palestinian political prisoners in its jails. Moreover, as per an Egyptian mediation, Hamas also released 11 Asian workers, 10 Thai and 1 Philippine who were taken captives on 7th of October. A total of 208 trucks carrying food, water, medical supplies and fuel entered Gaza Strip through the Rafah border crossing between Egypt and Gaza on Friday.